Hello, welcome in friends. It's been a little while since I've made a video, so we're gonna come at you today with FSD 14.2.2.2 in our 2023 Tesla Model X. Uh, so this update's got uh, a couple of fun little things. Uh, we'll get started here in just a second. We'll start off with navigation with Grok, um, which is pretty cool for the most part. Uh, I don't really take advantage of it. Uh, I ran a test the other day where I told it that I wanted to go to a specific area in the city and that I wanted to make like four or five different stops and it routed it. It found those different stops close to where I was going to go. And it did a really good job of kind of mapping that out and get me back home. And that was, that was super cool. But I very rarely do that. So the way that I use it uh, is just to kind of, you know, go from point A to point B. It's helpful uh, because it will tell me things like how far away it is, how long it's going to take and things like that. So we will uh, get started with the trip and then we'll just have a little bit of a conversation on the way. So let's go. Navigate to Best Buy in Denton, Texas. Navigating to Best Buy at 1800 South Loop 288 in Denton, Texas, it's 9.3 miles away, about 17 minutes. Let me know if you want to add stops or change anything. Okay, very good. So you can see that it's pulled it up here on uh, the screen. So we're going to go ahead and tap to start to get going here. Uh, again, FSD 14.2.2. I'm running a little bit of an experiment here by wearing my sunglasses. Uh, in the past, FSD didn't like it when I uh, wore sunglasses. Hopefully it doesn't give me a problem today. If it does, I will just uh, take them off, I guess. So real quick, if you've been to the channel before, uh, you're gonna notice right away that I'm experimenting with some uh, new camera angles here. So I always, I always appreciate your feedback when it comes to camera angles. This one here is the most uh, POV that I've provided yet. This camera is literally um, kind of right in front of me here. <laughs> it's, it's hard to see it, uh, but I'm hoping that this view is really good. My goal is, uh, is that you can get a good, a good view of the screen, uh, the yoke, the pedals, so that you can see that the car is in fact uh, driving itself here. Um, so uh, hopefully the, the POV here uh, does well. The other thing that I want you to be able to see really well is kind of out the windscreen here. What's going on around us. Um, we're over to the left here. So in this view, you, I can see here that you can see this pillar a lot more. So just let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments below on uh, the placement of the camera. Uh, and I'll continue to make uh, adjustments based on your feedback. One piece of feedback that I have heard is that you all want to see the cameras up. So we'll go ahead and pull that up there uh, so that you can see what the car is seeing. Uh, if that's a thing that you don't enjoy, I'm happy to take it away. Uh, but in any case, here we go. FSD 14.2.2.2 on the way to Best Buy in Denton, Texas. If you've seen my videos before, another thing that you're going to notice uh, new in the car here with us today is I, I tinted the, the windscreen halfway down, right? So this is a Model X, and in the Model X, you have this really amazing overhead view and this big windscreen. The downside to that is, especially here in Texas, the sun can get a bit brutal. It's just bright and hot. Uh, so I added it and the verdict on it is I love it and I hate it. <laughs> so it's, it's really effective uh, in, blocking, in blocking the sun. A little hesitation there. Uh, I think it wanted to see what that car was going to do. So, uh, but in any case, so it, it does a really good job in, in blocking out the brightness of the sun. You can't really see it in this view here, but the sun is like right here. And if it weren't for this, it, it'd be a little bright uh, on us right now. What I hate about it is it really does take away from that beautiful view. That just, uh, it, I, it's one of the things that I love the most about the Model X is that just that big windscreen view and the tint creates this kind of distinct line here. It just doesn't look as classy or as clean. Um, so I'm still kind of figuring out what I ultimately want to do with it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the, on the window tent there. Hopefully it's not obstructing your view in any way. I may have to, I can see that I might need to adjust the camera though. I feel like that pillar is 
is kind of getting in the way a bit. Uh, so we'll have to we'll have to see what that looks like on the tape. Uh, so so far no nagging with the with the sunglasses, which is fantastic. I will tell you, the nagging has certainly decreased uh, in FSD 14. Uh, I can use my phone briefly if I need to check something or send a quick text message. It doesn't really complain too much about that. It will hit me if I'm if I'm on it for too long. In the past, it used to be that it would just immediately nail you. Um, so it's it, it is beginning to relax a little bit on that, and I think that we'll continue to see the relaxation of uh, the nagging in future versions. Uh, it's just super super clean. It's super crisp. Uh, I really en enjoy it, and I, I trust FSD um, a lot. Right. So. Uh, speaking of which, you know, in 14, I keep hitting that, in 14 they brought out the uh, how many miles you've driven in FSD. So we're at 98%, uh, 1,959 miles uh, on autopilot. We are in hurry mode, we're doing 65 and 60, and a police officer is next to us, which is interesting. Uh, usually, in hurry mode on this road, uh, we are doing easily 70 and a 50 um, but it's 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 back down to 65 because it's going with the flow of traffic and I will tell you because that police officer is kind of pacing back there if if Tess tries to go I'm gonna back the profile back a bit uh, because we don't we don't want a speeding ticket we are in hurry uh, which does exceed the posted speed limit by quite a bit Mad Max, hurry quite a lot. Standard goes about five miles per hour over. Uh, chill hovers around it, and sloth is a bit slower than the posted speed limit. So, uh, just some interesting numbers per the driving profiles. So, yeah, he's just hanging back there a little bit. So we're not gonna 61 and a 50 is apparently not ticket territory at the moment. We'll see. We'll see what that looks like. I'm pretty confident that FSD is not aware that it's there. Although I will say I've never ever seen it do 57 on this road. Usually in hurry it'll start kind of making its way around. Uh, to speed up a bit and again if it goes to do that I'm gonna back it down into standard because we don't want to get pulled over <laughs> although it could be fun I guess but not a thing I want to experiment with today so we're going to Best Buy to see if they have a, a Bluetooth mic just keep running into all kinds of issues I have a ceremonic right now which is great but I lost my 3.5 millimeter plug and it's just I don't know. I think it would be simpler if I could just pair it with a decent mic and just kind of set it and forget it and walk away from it. I don't have all these cables and cords hanging around, so hopefully they have one and we can experiment with that. Also today, I think I'm going to go out and do some some Ubering uh, with the FSD. Um, I do that because I love sharing this experience with people. And Uber's fun because I actually make a couple of bucks while I'm doing something that I really love to do, which is riding around in, in my Tesla and uh, sharing that experience with people. So I always like to get out and do that uh, for a couple of hours and have a, you know, have a good time uh, sharing it with folks. I'm really curious to hear your feedback on the camera position. Um, the, the angle of it, I can see a little bit of sun glare in there, but uh, I'd like to know what you think about the view. Let me know what you think about the uh, the tent, also. It's January 3rd, and we've got, what, 60? It's 60 degrees and sunny. It's a beautiful day here in uh, North Texas. Pretty sunny, not a cloud in the sky. And let's see if we can see the police officer. 
Oh, yes. So uh, I've received a couple of comments from a few of you asking about uh, about the camera setup. So this camera here is a Hero uh, or a, a GoPro Hero Black 13, and this camera is uh, an Insta 360. I have two different ones because I want to experiment with you know how they they behave, and I don't know they both they both kind of have their their challenges. Uh, the Hero Black, as an example. Uh, the GoPro will not allow me to have a microphone attached to it without the battery in it, which is painful because the batteries tend to heat up and the camera shut down. So what I like to do is I like to run them without the batteries and just have the, the power plugged in. But for some reason, the, the, Hero, uh, the GoPro Hero Black 13 is not allowing me to do that. So I'm hoping that if I can get the Bluetooth microphone, that that's no longer an issue. We'll have to see uh, how that behaves. I wish I wish there were just a. It's like YouTube videos are, <laughs> especially if you have multiple cameras. I guess if if this is something that you do, you know, regularly, you, you have a system and processes in place that simplify it. So that's a cabin camera view, right? Because I had my hand up. And it just turned FSD hands-free mode off, which means it's gonna start nagging me. So what happened was I, I was adjusting one of the camera pods here and I blocked the view. Hopefully it'll re-engage here in a moment and won't continue nagging me. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> so anyway, um, even like these two cameras. Yeah, okay, cool. So hands-free mode on now, so it'll reduce the nag. Um, editing the the videos from these two cameras, syncing them up, it's it's quite a lot of like each one of these videos takes quite a lot of work, especially with um, with these types of videos because they tend to be you know 20 30 minutes long just talking about uh, FSD. Uh, it can be it can be pretty time consuming to to throw these videos together, but I have fun with it. I again I really love sharing sharing this with uh, with people uh, just the the impressive technology that you know that Tesla's put together here. I'm also really curious to see, you know, kind of how this particular film turns out with the positioning of the camera. I I, I can see that it's quite bright, but I, I wonder what it looks like on screen. What it looks like through the windscreen if you can see well. I've read online, you know, there I've seen people complain quite a lot about. 14.2.2, uh, you know, with lane changing, um, stabbing of the brake, um, just people are reporting all kinds of issues, and I've seen none of that. It, it's been, for the most part, I'd, I'd say flawless. Uh, it just, it executes extremely cleanly. There's no, there's no hesitation. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, occasionally, you know, maybe a single, you know, break stab. I've, I've seen it kind of do that. It, it did it just a little while back at that, that intersection. But that's because it had made the decision to go and then it picked up an indicator or a cue from the car across the highway. I just I haven't seen a lot of these issues that people are reporting uh, in, their, in their Teslas. So it's been a really uh, fluid experience for me personally. It, it, it gets better with every version. I get excited every time uh, I get a new update, and I just really enjoy my my time riding around in in Tess. Uh, another massive uh, improvement in FSD 14 uh, is parking. Uh, it does a really good job of parking. It, it'll park uh, head first. Uh, it'll back into parking spots. It does not park in handicap spots. Or spots that are marked as reserved in any kind of way so if there's a post with a sign it, it bypasses them you know curbside pickup things like that it does a ph phenomenal uh, job parking I've also seen you know what I, I've gotten I've I've driven to or I've we've gone to really crowded spaces where there were no parking spots available 
and FSD will circle until it finds a spot. Uh, so I can see, I can see it kind of working on what it might look like in the near future for, you know, for Tesla or the, for FSD to drop you off at the front door of the grocery store and then go park itself and then you summon it when you're when you're done. I think that's something we're going to see uh, in 2026. Uh, so just really impressive tech all the way around. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. So we're coming up on Best Buy here, um, and we're gonna we're gonna observe how uh, FSD 14.2.2.2 parks uh, here. Uh, one thing that it still does is it it doesn't seem to find the uh, the closest parking spot to the door. You know what I might look for as a human driver, um, which is not a huge deal for me. Actually, I usually park you know in the back anyway. So like, yeah, this is so okay. So this is the lane that I would go down. And you're gonna notice here that we have these, you know, um, curbside pickup spots. It's not going to park there. It will ignore those. And it's just gonna grab, it looks like this spot right here. So we're gonna do uh, head in. Uh, and you can see that that was absolutely flawless. Uh, so mm -hmm. superb, uh, superb job on, on the parking there. Absolutely perfect drive, no issues. Uh, interesting to see that it kind of maintained its speed when there happened to be a police officer present. Now that might have been a coincidence. Even in Hurry or Mad Max, uh, FSD does tend to kind of follow the flow of traffic. Uh, and that was certainly the situation there. The traffic around me had slowed down. So um, th that's kind of what we were cruising. But it was interesting to see that it didn't try to overtake cars and, you know, drive the speed that it likes to on that particular road. So I wonder if there's some awareness uh, of the police officer was there. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it for this ride. Uh, as always, thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, uh, share your feedback. Uh, love to hear it. Talk to me about the camera positioning. What do you like to see? What, what do you not like to see? Uh, because we will make those adjustments as we continue to make uh, videos in the future. Thanks for tuning in.